this time we're going to be looking at some branch instructions. The first half of our branch instruction is not too much different than the other instructions that we've seen so far. We have an opcode for the branch equals instructions that we've got here. Our opcode would be 4. We have two source registers. So for the branch equals next to A, I would put T0 into the RS field, T1 into the RT field. If I was looking at E, I would put T4 into the RS field and T5 into the RT field. So that much is straightforward. The hard part comes in with the immediate. So we've got five branch equals instructions here, and all of them are pointing to another instruction in there. But we'll end up with different immediates because the immediate is relative to the program counter. So if we start with the first branch equals instruction, we say that when t0 is equal to t1, then I want to go to instruction c. So what I put in for my immediate is going to be something that tells me how to get from line A to line C. And I'm going to do this by counting instructions. But it turns out I'm not going to count from line A. I'm actually going to count from the instruction after line A. So in this case, I'm going to count from B. And I want to count up until I get to C. So C is the next instruction down, so I go down one, I get to C. My immediate for this instruction will be one. For B, I also want to go to C if T1 is equal to T2. So I'm going to start counting from the instruction after B, and I want to count however many instructions I need to go down or up to get to line C. Line C is the one I'm now pointing at, so I'm going to put in 0 for that immediate. For line C, I want to go back up to line A. So I'm going to start counting from the line after instruction C. And I'm going to go however many instructions I need, forwards or backwards, to get to line A. So Line A is above line C, so I'm going to go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 instructions. For instruction D, I want to go back to instruction C. And again, I'm going to start counting from the instruction after the branch. And here I'm going to go back 1, 2. So I have a negative 2 there. Line E is an instruction that points at itself. So I'll start counting from the instruction after instruction E. Then I need to go negative one instructions to get back to E. So those are all the values that I would put in for the immediates for those instructions. I would make sure they're all in two's complement format when I put them in, but otherwise, the branch instructions work pretty much the same as all the other instructions we've seen.